Bear. <laughs> What are you up to? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I believe it's been about two months or so since I've made my last video. Um, a lot has been going on. Um, if you don't already know from my previous couple of videos, we moved from North Carolina to South Carolina. Sorry, Ava's making me wobbly. This is our current situation. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? She has all these toys. Hi. So we packed up our things in Jacksonville. Um, Ayla and I actually moved before Tyler did. Um, and that was kind of weird, not moving all together, knowing that we weren't going to be in that house anymore. I apologize for all the noise. Ayla has all of her toys here and they're just making all this music. He moved in with my mom and it has been both challenging but amazing at the same time. Um, I really forgot all of the little family things that I've been missing out on since moving away for the past two years. Um, so I just kind of forgot how, that feeling, how it felt to be home and just around our family. My grandma's down the street, my in-laws are down the street, my mom and sister are such a huge help with Ayla. Um, you know, I really forgot how much time I didn't have for myself until I moved here. Now having help from my mom and my sister, I actually can take a shower by myself and eat a full meal and it's just been amazing. Though it is a bit difficult getting used to being on our own and in our own house and then, you know, moving back home with my mom, um, that part, the independence part, I guess, is what's kind of tough. I mean, no one really anticipates moving back in with their parents when they're married and, you know, have kids. But um, I think it's worked out for the best. I'm really glad that we even have the opportunity. I'm glad that she even allowed us to come in. But overall, we've had more good come out of this than bad. I mean, having her and my sister and just my family overall just around, I really forgot what that even felt like for the past two years. And it's been really great. Ayla's birthday's coming up soon. Um, I forgot how old she was in my last video. I think she was going on seven months she was six months going on seven she is now nine months going on ten months she'll be ten months on the 28th of this month and I'm so sad um, I actually did some party planning and party shopping for her first birthday I'm probably gonna make that a separate video to show you everything that I got um, but she's been doing great she's been doing amazing she's on solid foods now um, she can stand up on her own she's learning how to walk She's learning how to walk. It is so sad. It's crazy how this year has gone by in a split second. It is crazy how much she's grown. But today is going to just be a regular day in the life of a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> You are so funny. You're so funny. Yeah. <laughs> That's been Ayla's new face for everything. Let me tell you, this little girl has some... This little girl has some attitude on her. She is so sassy for a little nine month old baby. Anytime she gives us attitude, I say she gets it from her dad. <laughs> oh. But yeah, so with all of that said, I'm super excited to get back into the swing of things. I'm excited to still make videos. I have never given up. I completely anticipated on coming back. I just didn't know when we were moving and then Tyler moved right after and then he was finding a job and then he started school and it was just this whole big thing. I feel like now we have a pretty solid routine and everything's in place and I feel back to normal. So with all that said, let's get into it. Uh, Ayla got 
got cranky really quick. She needed a bottle. She did not want any of her snacks. There she is. I love you. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think right now I'm going to show you um, her little setup that I have here. I'm super excited about it. Hi. So this is her new little play setup that we have here. Um, I really like it. It works really well. Um, these are the same gate, but just two different colors. They actually, they actually um, connect right there. I just don't have them connected. But she's been doing really, really well with this setup. And then we, obviously we have the couch right here. So when she stands up from the little mat, she can just stand right here. And sometimes I give her her little snacks and stuff. And it keeps him out of her play area too. So it's been working really, really well. Um, this little gate right here opens so you can go in and out as well as that side and obviously we can connect them all together as one ring or we could always put it outside. If you want me to do a separate video on where I get all of her things, how I set it up and things like that, just let me know and I will. <laughs> This is what I've been having for a snack lately. I've been having light vanilla um, yogurt with some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I know it's not the healthiest thing, but I really do have a sweet tooth and I need something sweet in there, something chocolatey. Um, I couldn't find unsweetened coconut flakes. This is what I've been adding in there as well. If I could find unsweetened, I'd probably go with it because it is really sweet already with the vanilla and the chocolate chips, but we'll see. Um, then I usually just put it in a mason jar and Ayla shares it with me, which is why there's a baby spoon. And then on the side, um, I usually mash up some blueberries for her and she'll eat them that way. Or I just feed it to her by hand and I mash them up between my fingers, just depends. Um, I probably could switch out the chocolate chips for the blueberries, but like I said, I love the chocolate, so I'll keep them. I did want to talk about my photography um, I did decide to make it into a small freelance type of business um, I have <laughs> I did make a page for it as well as an Instagram so if you'd like to you can go like um, she's hitting the camera you can go like the Facebook page and follow my Instagram it's at woodard.photography i'll leave both of them linked down below but i just wanted to show you a few of the pictures that i've captured so um first up are these pictures i took for this amazing couple peyton and andrea um she actually found me on instagram and shot me a message so she wanted some nice pictures um before he left for boot camp and so we met up and we went downtown in the town that i live in and these are what we came with um they were absolutely beautiful and i'm not talking about the pictures i'm talking about the couple but um i also did some pictures for one of my really really good friends paris her daughter um fun fact i'm actually her godmother so that was really fun um she just turned a year her and ayla are only a few months apart and these are these are the pictures i took for her we went to this little quarry um downtown as well and she was so 
fun to shoot. She is so cute. She's absolutely beautiful. Here are some pictures I've taken of Ayla. I decided to do a little milk bath type shoot with her. Um, and I actually couldn't um, find like a tub or a bin big enough for her to sit in or that was going to work well. So in this picture here is actually a scarf I took from my sister. Some leaves I got from my mom's backyard off of her plants. Use regular water and milk, one part water to one part milk. Um, and I put a one side of this plastic bin. Um, it's actually a drawer from a plastic shelf Tyler has um, downstairs in the basement. And I just took it out, washed it real quick. And it was actually the perfect size for her. And so I came up with these pictures and I'm super proud of them. I love them so, so much. And then these are some pictures I took of my younger sister. If you didn't know, I have a younger sister. She's 15, her name is Jada. And I took these of her also in my mom's backyard and oh my goodness. Forget any of my photography skills or editing. My sister is absolutely gorgeous. I love these pictures so, so much. She's a complete natural. And these by far have to be my favorite that I've taken. So those are all the pictures. I'm super glad to be back into making YouTube videos and I hope to work on some more projects soon. Um, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Please go follow my personal page on Instagram at Janae28 and my photography page at Woodard.Photography as well as my photography Facebook page at Woodard Photography. I'll leave everything linked down below. <gasps> 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 <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.